All right, here we go. What's shaking? So, um, I'm here to talk about Leatherman Wave. I've been using this tool set for quite a long time. Let's see. Yeah. I've been using this for a very long time. You can actually see the wear pattern from the old leather sheath that I used to have it in. That was where the button was. I've been using this thing for about 10, 11 years. Um, it's served me well. It's been lost maybe two or three times. Um, for the industry that I work in, um, machine building, automation, that kind of thing, um, it's not the perfect tool for everything but it is a great tool to have on hand in odd scenarios. Things that just come up and you don't have that specific tool on you, but you have this to get the job done. So I'll end up taking you closer into the tool and looking over some of its features, uh, some of the things I like and dislike about it, but uh, you know, I figured I'd give you a start off and overlay um, from here. Um, yeah, it's, it's been on my hip in this pouch for about uh, two years. Prior to this one, I had the old leather pouch that it came with, and that was just kind of um, falling apart and didn't have all the extra storage for um, the add-ons you can buy. So things like the bit extender tool I'll show you that in a close-up and then the extra Leatherman <laughs> the extra Leatherman bits um, not cheap these bits but um, I would say they're worth it in the long run I don't use them a lot but the times I have used them ha has been uh, I mean, it's been good to have. So I, I, I definitely wouldn't, uh, I would definitely recommend those. But um, I think we're going to take in closer and then uh, we'll have a little closer look of the tool. One thing I wanted to show, just to show how uh, used it is, I can actually flip them out and close them like that. So it's they've they've been used. They've they've had uh, they've had their beatings. I've I've definitely not been nice to them. I've tried. I haven't tried to break them, but I've, I've used it as a tool. And so if it's going to be a tool that I carry on my hip every day, I wanted to get the job done. So I've definitely uh, I've put them through their paces. So let's bring you down and have a look at it. All right, so back uh, back with the tool in the sheath. This is actually the larger of the sheaths you can get. This will fit up to the Leatherman Surge. You can actually tell just by the gap that is there, which I have considered getting the Surge, and I might still do that, but... Um, you know the wave has served me well and it's not broken and uh, you know the surge isn't a cheap tool and neither was this so it's kind of hard to um, it's kind of hard to change that out when it's you know when it's not broken so this is a close-up of it um, it's definitely been used worn it's been uh, sharpened um, I do all my own sharpening with my stones, but uh, you know, tip is still present. Um, I don't use this knife as a pry bar. I mean, it's got a uh, flat blade on it that I definitely have before. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Yeah, pinch the corner there a little bit but still works fine the nice thing about this tool is you could potentially grind this back and you got quite a lot of stock there that you basically got a new flat blade they really didn't profile it much so 
yeah that's a great tool use that one often um, pliers this was pre um, changeable jaws never had any issues with these I mean they're not the sharpest cutters that ever happened but they'll snip a wire easy enough if you can get them to a zip tie they'll snip them easy enough the problem is you never can get it deep enough to snip a zip tie that's part of my problem um, the teeth eh, they're fine I mean as far as players go they're fine um, they do they have a little bit of wobble to it I don't know if you're gonna see or hear that but they got a little bit of wobble to them but yeah the pliers pliers have worked for me you know I uh, I use them a lot just to pick up say hot parts uh, if I'm in the tool shop and I and I grind something you know modifying something whatever and it's hot and I need to dunk it into some water I usually grab this guy out pick it up and and dunk it so I mean you know pliers are just kind of like an extra set of hands for me just you know ones that don't get burned so easily uh, this saw is a nice saw it will cut wood and do a decent job at it it's very aggressive it's the proper uh, design where it gets uh, thinner at the top wider at the bottom so as you cut through you make clearance for yourself so it doesn't get wedged very easy I mean I've definitely lopped down um, you know uh, the odd tree that's growing in a place you don't like it maybe on your fence line or something and I've lopped off branches and things with it that works fine for that uh, one of my favorite uh, tools on this that probably gets one of the most amount of use for me is the file both the diamond side and just the standard kind of like uh, bastard cut side uh, it's 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 great it it works really well you even have it on this so you can actually file stuff almost like a saw but a really fine kind of blade um yeah, this this has worked out a lot for me because I mean, how often do you carry a file on you other than this? Uh, but I've definitely had a lot of scenarios where I need them. You know, I'm I'm a fisherman, so uh, using a diamond tip to uh, clean up a tip of your uh, fishing hook, nice to have on you. I've definitely uh, done that several times with this. Um, just as simple as nail maintenance you can uh, clean up a nasty nail that you cut off I mean I've done plenty of um, quick nail trims with the scissors and included file just because you can if it's on you you got the ability to it's nice um, let's see what else do we have out here so the normal plane blade like that the saw don't use it a ton i have used it it works fine um that's kind of a take it or leave it for me this i mean maybe i'm just not a fan but i don't like serrated blades i never use them i guess i don't uh, go on a boat very often where i gotta cut rope or paracord and or something and I don't know. I, I don't get it. I I never use this stupid thing. Um, I could definitely change. That That would be nice if, to change that out to something else. I believe the Surge has a big pair of scissors. I would much rather have that in comparison. Um, so that handles the outside. Talk about some of the tools on the inside. Scissors, they work fine. Like I said, for nails, they're great. Fingernails. Uh zip ties if it's a thick zip tie good luck you're probably going to hurt your finger that's not a big uh land to really get some good leverage on um anything lightweight thin works pretty good on i don't mind it i just wish they were bigger a little more substantial but i mean it cuts things fine and, and it gets the job done in some extent to some extent so it's all right um surprisingly enough i've used this guy quite a bit 
um, you know, the Phillips. You probably won't even get to focus on that. Oh, there we go. There we go. The Phillips, you know, pretty much its only use case is uh, glasses. So my wife's glasses, my daughter's glasses, I've definitely tightened up screws with that. Now the flat blade, this is shorter than they come because uh, I broke a bit of the flat blade in trying to use it. So, you know, you got to be nice to it. It's not, there's not a whole lot of material there. But what I have used this flat blade for is, again, in uh, the industry I work in, um, we have these uh, things called proc switches on cylinders and motions. And sometimes they have really, really, really tiny flathead screws. And I've been in situations where this was the tiniest flathead screw I had on me at the time. And I was able to use it and get the job done. So uh, it's uh, great. That's actually, I believe the Surge doesn't have this tool. So that would be a big leaning point for me staying with uh, the Wave instead of the Surge. The scales have... Uh, Scales yeah. on them. You like what I did there? Um, don't ever use it. That is not the most efficient way to try to measure anything other than like gives you an estimate on what 20 centimeters looks like. Cool. If you need that. It's not really useful, but I guess it's there. Um, I've opened up Lots of cans with this. Works great. SpaghettiOs. Um, open up bottles with it. Uh, it works for it. As far as the stripper goes, I never had any luck using that. I would just rather have a pair of wire strippers on me. Like if, if it's this or just using a knife and cutting the insulation really carefully and stripping it that way, I'd probably just use the knife. I don't see that functioning very well most of the time now this bit driver this bit driver is pretty great i really enjoy this flat bit driver um, i usually use it for its phillips seeing as you have you know a flat blade on the other side of the tool not much use for this one unless you need the thinner profile that this one has which you know, maybe you do. Um, I use this a lot. Again, small adjustments when I just don't have a screwdriver handy on me. I, I tend to use this a lot. Um, I usually use it in that format instead of that, just because that sneaks into places better than the whole tool does. It's a little awkward to turn, but it does it. You know, uh, but... The flat bits is where we get into the utility of these extra tools, which is um, pretty nice. Um, I would love to tell you I've used it a lot. I haven't. Um, I think it's useful. I think it's nice to have. I think I'll be happy to have it, or I have been happy to have it when I did use it, but it, it's only been probably three or four times since I bought it and that's been over the last couple years so my return on investment ain't that high but it is nice you can also you know kind of get in a pistol grip type of handle on it get a nice good turn out of it and then you get the whole assortment of bits here which um, has been useful before, especially um, had a scenario where uh, the latch inside of the mother-in-law's door was um, falling apart, so the car door wouldn't, wouldn't shut anymore. Funny thing was, this is a relatively newer car. This was, I think it's a 2018, 2019, and uh, it just totally got loose and would not shut anymore, so pull out. Uh, I believe it was a, a Torx bit I needed at the time. Pulled out a Torx bit, pulled out this, and tightened her all up. And look at that. Door could close. We were out in the middle of a shopping mall, you know, two hours from home at the time. 
definitely, you know, would have been a pain to go buy a tool somewhere else and have to fix it. I was able to do it just with having my Leatherman on me. So, you know, it's not something all the time, but it's, uh, if you need it, you need it. So let's see, I had some other talking points here. <sighs> so I've gone over a lot about what I like. I, I do think this is something nice to have and you're not always going to have all of these tools present on you, even in your job. You know, I, I tend to move around a lot in my job. I'm, I'm jumping from one cell, one thing to the other trying to troubleshoot, fix something. So I don't always have all my tools on me. They're either across the shop or, you know, whatever. If it's something simple, this is easily going to get it done. Um, so I've gone over things I like. Things I don't like, I mean, it's heavy. Um, you know it's on your belt. Uh, you know, if you wear it on your belt in this with all of this, um it will snag onto things. It will be something that gets smacked as you cross the doorway if you gotta, you know, if you go over to one side too much or if you sit in and out of a computer chair that's got, you know, handles on its side, it snags on the way up. This is this is kind of obnoxious. It hangs off of you pretty well. Um, that would be probably my biggest gripe with it. Um, I actually didn't wear it for um, probably about a year, year and a half for one of my uh, one of the companies I worked for because I was in a room, an inspection room all day, and I could have the tools I really needed on me pretty much within eight feet of me at all times to some extent. So. Uh, I didn't need the uh, jack of all trade tools. I could just get the one I actually needed. So, you know, if if I didn't use it, I wouldn't wear it. Um, I definitely don't wear this out and about very often. Um, actually, that example I had where I uh, um, fixed the car door, this was in my pack that I carry with me. It's kind of like a travel EDC pack where I have extra tools in it, extra things in it. It's kind of like your just in case backpack type of scenario. So it wasn't even on me. It was just in my vehicle with me. So, you know, if, if I wasn't with my vehicle or didn't have my pack with me, then this scenario wouldn't have came up. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta weigh out the situation there. Um, went over it being very heavy i mean and you know like i've mentioned before it is uh it's not really the right tool for the job but it is a tool for the job that can get it done it's just uh it's a little bit more light duty and um you know you have a chance of breaking things a little bit more easily than you know in comparison to you know you want to really break something loose with uh with the driver or you want to use it like a little bit of a pry bar, you start putting a lot of force in this area, in this joint. I mean, you do th see things tweak and twist on you a little bit. You know, that's why I said I haven't tried to break it, but I have, you know, I've put some work through it. So all things to consider with tools like this. They're, I think they're worth having, but uh, there is an argument for having just the right tool on you as well. <clears throat> Is there a better multi-tool out there? That's eh, situational, right? It's situation dependent. Um, I think you can get heavier duty ones um, like the Surge. Um, I know the Mutts are pretty tough. They have the hammer butt on the bottom of them, but those are more specific, you know, those are for like uh, gun takedown kind of tools and not everybody's going to need that. You know, I can't tell you why I would need that in uh, my industry. Um, I think Leatherman probably makes the best uh, collection of multi-tools uh, just 
biased, personal. I mean, I've had a couple Gerbers. I've uh, uh, held a couple, uh, tested out a couple. You know, anybody that I know that buys them or anything like that, I check them out, and they just they don't feel as nice. They don't uh, feel as solid. Uh, they tend to have subpar, more gimmicky tools that I've noticed. You know, um, at least for the Wave, the Surge, and 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 whatnot. Like these tools, really. Almost all of them have a purpose, and they all do the job pretty well. So there's not a whole lot of gimmick here. Um, and again, the feel on this is better. You know, they went through the details of have giving you a nice rounded surface where you're going to be grabbing everything. You know, so it at least feels more comfortable. Sure, it's not a you know a plasti dip type of molded grip or anything but you know you can get some pretty good squeeze out of that and not really hurt your hand so you know I, I i think leatherman's worth it i think they're some of your best multi tools well i think that's uh that looks to be the end of my notes here so um i think i'll leave it at that uh just wanted to show off a wave that's got you know a 10 year plus torture test to it I mean it's been used in industry it's been used in hobbies it's been used in I mean fishing's a hobby but I think it's you know I'm gonna bring it up separately I've used it in fishing for pulling hooks out of fish uh, sharpening my hooks uh, cutting fishing lines so I mean this is it's great having a multi-tool for fishing um, and yeah, I think uh, I think you have this on your hip. It just gives you that little bit of extra toolkit to uh, you know get you through some potentially sticky situations, especially depending on the industry that you're in. I know for me, it's uh, it's come in handy many many times. I'll continue to wear it. Maybe I'll upgrade to the surge, but I know it's heavier. I know it's bigger. It's not cheap either. Uh, I might pass on it. I might I might. I might swap it out, we'll see. But I do enjoy how warm in this one is. So with that, signing out.